Caribbean insight, ready is dynamite. Caribbean insight, really super was spite. Caribbean insight, enjoy day or night. Caribbean insight. He was one of the greatest Calypso singers of all time. Justly famous for his many recordings for Bushwick and Decca record labels. This is the story of Raphael de Leon, aka the Roaring Lion. Welcome to CITV. I am Lady V. It's my pleasure to be here tonight to pay tribute to a man who is truly a living legend. I'm speaking, of course, of the man born 87 years ago as Raphael de Leon, but known throughout the world as the Dean of Calypso, the Roaring Lion. This great man is revered for being the figure who internationalized Calypso music. Born in 1906 in Trinidad, Roaring Lion's career began when he won the first prize at the Grand Calypso Carnival competition in 1924. From there, his original compositions... <laughs> Yes. which he and fellow Calypsonians Attila the Hun, recorded for the Brunswick label in the early 30s, brought him great acclaim. Lion was the first person to put Calypso on record. He took the music where it had never been before, performing, performing in the United States venues from the Village Vanguard to Rudy Valley's Hollywood Cafe to Carnegie Hall. He was even called upon specifically to perform for President Roosevelt in 1934, but it is his classic original songs that thrust Lion into the realm of great greatness, songs such as We Came From The Glory, Out The Fire, which he wrote for Harry Belafonte, and the most popular Calypso song of all time, Mary Ann. All day, all night, Miss Mary Ann, she down by the seaside, she simply sang. The strings on her banjo can tie a boat And the water from the ocean can sail Now let me hear you there together All day, all night, Miss Mary Ann A little louder Down by the seaside, she sits in the sand I can't hear you Strings on her banjo can tie a boat And the water from the ocean can sail a boat all day, all night, and all around The big cities, countries, and back in town Wise as a soap and that cunning fox Had strings on her banjo to don her socks All day, all night, Miss Mary Ann Down by the seaside, she sipped in sand Strings on her banjo can tie a boat And the water from the ocean can sail a boat I have started Calypso, I've pioneered it, I've been the ambassador, I took it all over the world. I have a special thanks for America because here is where I really started off with the recording. Whenever I am here, I feel very happy to see that there are people around who are thinking in terms of projecting an image of the Calypso, which is an adopted folk song of Trinidad, originated in France. I'm sure that you must have read Kipling's tale, the female of the species worse than the male. I'm sure you must have read Kipling's tale, the female of the species worse than the male. That seemed to be the opinion universally. A whole the well-known crowd was singing merrily. They sang, man, Santa P, bad, bad, but the woman, Santa P, more than, uh -uh. man, Santa P, bad, bad, but the woman. Uh -uh. Let me hear you again there. Man, Santa P, bad, uh -uh. but then the woman, Santa uh -uh. Meet up with the cobra while on his way. He wiggled and twist and tried to get away. If you meet the female cobra while on her trail, she'll hiss and spit and stand right on her tail. And of your yells and your groans, she wouldn't be in dread. With a poison as fun, she'll try to strike you dead because man Santa be. And the woman Santa be. I say the man Santa be. But then the woman Santa be. 
If you study sanitation, you are bound to know the peculiar characteristic of the mosquito. The male mosquito is a fool. His delight is to worry and disturb you while you rest at night. But the female and her follies won't leave you alone. When she's gone, she leaves malaria in your bones. You see, man Santa be bad. But then the woman Santa be more than... I say the man Santa be bad. Bad, but the woman Santa be... That they worse than the male. We must believe. Take the story in the Bible about Adam and Eve. For Adam, he was humble and stood for truth. But Eve had her eyes on the forbidden fruit. When Adam disagreed, you know, she knocked him out and forced the apple inside his mouth, you see. Man Santa be bad, but then the woman Santa be more. Yes. 1927 to be exact, I was tricked into singing. My friends invited me to go to a tent, Calypso tent. It was during the Calypso season, and they told the owner of the tent that I said I wanted to sing, which wasn't the truth. So they called me up, I was a bit bashful, but the people encouraged me and I went and I sang and I won the competition. The very first night, and that year, I won all the competitions that I entered, all. Nobody ever break that record. Um, from there, in 1931, 33, uh, I, had the, I, I became a pioneer because in 33 they sent me through the Caribbean singing. Calypso was never sung there, no carnival. I took it to Grenada, Barbados and St. Vincent. And then in 34, they sent me to America to record for the Brunswick Recording Company here where I met President Roosevelt and entertained him at the Waldorf Astoria, the Grand Ball. In 1934, I sang with Rudy Valley and these people at uh, Hollywood Cafe in Broadway. I broadcast from WGY here on Rudy Valley's program, Freshman Lease. Then I sang at Carnegie Hall. Uh, then I sang on uh, WEF Broadcasting Station. And then I think at the National Broadcasting Station, which I believe was the Armed Forces or something. That was in 34. Then in 35, I was engaged on a, but the first Cal and Calypsonian to be um, employed on a ship. is the first and the only one, to first and last, and one they call the SS Content, an American boat. If this is the proverb you would understand, you would lend your brothers a helping hand. If this is the proverb you would understand, you would lend your brothers a helping hand. Whether you are white, pink, blue, or black, you have got to reach the six feet of earth and that's that. Whether you agree or you should disagree, still I'm pretty certain that you will agree with me. Singing life would be easier and time would be breezier if you love your neighbor. If you study the Lord's teachings, you would find the showman and the monk can save mankind and make life a whole lot easier if you, you love, love your neighbor. We all know there is ideal happiness above Which arises from the presence of brotherly love So if of the joys of heaven you like to partake This is an example you should strive to emulate Resist your temptations and refrain from strife And try to lead a noble and an upright life And this too you must learn to make the best of what you earn And strictly learn to leave your brother's property alone Then life would be easier and time would be breezier If you love your neighbor if you study the Lord's teachings, you would find that the showman and the monk can save mankind and make life a whole lot easier if you, you love, love your neighbor. Can speak with biblical veracity that loves our passion sponsored by the divinity and so we all should endeavor assiduously to walk in the paths of virtue and humility for he that humbleth himself shall exalted be and humbled will be he who's failing his vanity so whatever we do we should keep in mind this view that the other man is worth quite as much or more than you and life would be easier and time would be breezier if you love your neighbor. If you study the Lord's teachings, you will find the someone and the monk can save mankind and make.
make life a whole lot easier if you love your neighbor. I think I have influenced most of the good Calypsonians because it's in my tent most of them started. They got the broke, uh, the victory tent it was called. And from there they started. And you see, if you came to victory and you sing, it's like Hollywood and Broadway. If you make a name in Broadway, you can hit Hollywood. Well, if you made a name in Victory Tent, you can go further a few years. And so most of them, not Sparrow, because when Sparrow started to sing in 56, I was then in England. So all the great men, the Terror, the Spoiler, the Growler, the Tiger, all of them started in my tent. Well, since we're talking about Calypso, I'll sing this one. People are interested boom, boom. to know when Calypso originated. Boom, boom. People are interested to know where Calypso originated. Some said it came from Cuba. Some said British Guiana. Some content seriously it was sung by Moses crossing the Red Sea. But I told them, no, no, oh no. Trinidad is the land of Calypso. Jump, I jump low. Trinidad is the land. Let me hear you now. No, no, oh no. Trinidad is the land of Calypso. Jump, jump, low. Trinidad is the land of Calypso. One said that in India, they sung Calypso when they are charming Cobra. Another said that Elijah sung a Calypso in the chariot of fire and they argued with one another. Uh -huh. Trying to find out the owner. <laughs> they mention every country, all but the land of La Trinity. Now, I told them, them oh, no, 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 oh no. Trinidad is the land of Calypso. So jump, I jump low. Trinidad is the land of Calypso. When you come in the tent, you see in the days we had uh, palm branches covering. And when the rains start to fall, if you didn't want to get wet, you had to dodge the dropper in here and he dodged the dropper in there and both of us get together and we result and end up with we laughing and talking and i mean it, it brought people together he's the essence of society um without him the country would know very little about what is taking place true he he's, he, he's many things he, he, apart from being a reporter he's a prophet he prophesies things as he sees them apart from that he's a commentator and in so doing he plays an important role He's close to the news too. Mm -hmm. Something happened last night and this morning he's singing about it. Before the papers even write it. And that is a fact. Perhaps some of you don't know the story of the steel band of long ago. It started as the Boboli band. And then it changed to the biscuit band. Then to steel in 1914 when they started to play bits of melodies. Fish eye, pops and batters be used to drive people wild with these melodies. Long pang, ding, long pang. There was no steel band. The steel band didn't come into picture. Not until about 1943 will you find, 42 or 43, that you will find in the newspaper the name steel band. You will find that we were calling it up to that time the biscuit drum band. The reason for that is because when a new biscuit came here, they called uh, sun, uh, Sunrise Biscuit. They brought a different kite of drums, about 18 inches high by about 18 inches in circum, I mean, uh, diameter. About that, to a little narrow, to put biscuit. And these had a heavier song. So they took these to make the bass. Boom, 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 boom. And the pitchal tin, which was a tin that they brought kerosene in, they used that as a second pan. Maybe we call it what they call a tenner pan. With any other thing, garbage. There was a time when the people complained to the police that the garbage pan covers used to be taken away by these camps. So they, had to, they started chaining the garbage pan to the lamppost with big chain. And this is the story of, the, of what they call steel band. The Roaring Lion was born in the Kura Hills of Trinidad. And he spent many of his tender age at an orphanage where he learned to read and write music. He moved to South Trinidad and worked at using St. Madeline Sugar Factory where his Calypso career began. You are watching Caribbean Insight TV and we are paying tribute to the Roaring Lion 
Remember, your subscription keeps CITV alive on the web. So while you look for that red button, I'll do this. I am Tigress. This is the original dance master. This is Marshall Montana. I'm Brother Valentino. This is Marcia Miranda. Caribbean Insight. Yes, I watch them all the time. They're bad. Caribbean Insight. Really is dynamite. Caribbean Insight. Really super. Was spite. Caribbean Insight. Enjoy day or night. Caribbean Insight. The Roaring Lion achieved fame for his catchy tunes and his command of the English language. Of all the early Calypsonians, the Roaring Lion was the most scandalous. His music was banned on most of the radio. The famous Neti Neti was banned not only in Trinidad, but in Grenada as well. In 1940, the Roaring Lion won his first Calypso King competition with the rise of the British Empire. The war became a hot topic, and when Germany invaded Poland, the Roaring Lion made his contribution. Poland, Poland, Germany invaded Poland, Germany invaded Poland, England in the Mediterranean. Poland, Poland. Germany invaded Poland, Germany invaded Poland, England in the Mediterranean. Hitler, you too old, too. Most of dominating the world. Well, take the sip and behave for England, mistress, the land and the wave. Poland, Poland. Germany invaded Poland, Germany invaded Poland, England in the Mediterranean. Laugh a lot when you are stalling from the plot, but fighting English diplomacy is to have your head down on easy. Poland, Poland, Germany invaded Poland, Germany invaded Poland, England in the Mediterranean. You tore up the pack and demanded territorial expansion. You style up on Austria, then advantage Czechoslovakia. Poland, Poland. Germany invaded Poland, Germany invaded Poland, England in the Mediterranean. You said you're bad and intends to invade Trinidad. There is where America comes in, that's so old to the Monroe Doctrine. Poland, Poland. Germany invaded Poland, Germany invaded Poland, England in the Mediterranean. You thought Stalin in this war would have been assisting, but instead he used the screw and demanded part of Poland too. So, Poland, Poland, Germany invaded Poland, Germany invaded Poland, England in the Mediterranean. The Roaring Lion moved to England in the early 1950s. And after a decade of performances, he returned to Trinidad and began singing at Kitchener's Review Tent. In 1972, Trinidad Carnival was an instant hit. Well, the talk of the tongue is in the newspapers all over the world. It's in the Express, the Guardian, the evening news radio station from Cold to Cold. Country to country, young and old, whether good, indifferent or bad. They would spawn the jewels and sell their souls just to blame us in Trinidad. Because we have steel band, parang and rare lot, got it so right right here in Trinidad. Trinidad. We have nightlife betting and you're doing your own thing. Right, right here in Trinidad. Yeah, we have wine, women and plenty, back and I right, right here in Trinidad. Trinidad. And you can jump up and down and play your carnival right, right here in Trinidad. Our cannibal band parade, you would know we are not secondary. Can he 
valleys I give from the gods above I know it's true I'm not mad But those gods were smart They give the gift of right to Trinidad Now Trinidad has from pole to pole The best carnival in the world Because we have steel band parrots Red or cut it so right here in Trinidad We have nightlife setting on you doing your own thing Right here in Trinidad single-handedly popularized Calypso music. In the late 70s, he served as the president of the Calypso Association and coined another hit, Dorothy Went to Bait. Something about her, something, something Bathed in Point Kumana And a catfish jumped at her Julius Caesar Miss Dorothy went to bed And the catfish made a raid And Dorothy ball army The catfish gone with my lead We are paying tribute to the Roaring Lion Right here on Caribbean Inside TV The man who took Calypso to the next level This is a good time to look for that red subscription button and while you do that, I'll do this. My name is David Rudder. I am Mavis John. Yo, this is KMC. I'm Nicole Graves. Hey, this is Ronnie. This is Ronnie McIntosh. I is Brother Resistance. I am Ross Shorty. I make sure that I watch Caribbean Inside. And so should you. Caribbean Inside. Ready is dynamite. Caribbean Inside. Really super. For spite. Caribbean Inside. Enjoy day or night, Caribbean inside, really is dynamite. The Roaring Lion hooked up with Eddie Grant's Ice label. And in 1995, his recording with General Grant created a Raga Soka style hit, Papa Chokes. I 
salary go small. Bishop, but again, that's too biblical. So I became QRC principal. I became a doo-doo man and so. In my spare time, I could sing me calypso. Oh, they call me Papa Jones. The girls and them call me Sun Colon. Sing it out loud, they call me Papa Jones. The girls and them call me Sun Colon. I think Eddie Grant came in as a sort of a savior, I must call it that way, because I had withdrawn from the tent as such, not from the work, because I have been lecturing to colleges, universities, people come from all over the world and come to me for information to write a thesis and all sorts of things. I have all these things compiled, what I'm telling you. And um, I didn't care about the tent because in my opinion, they're not singing anything in the tent. They've thrown Calypso behind the back and wine, 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 jam, jam, jam. That Calypso is a, a story, it's poetry. You, 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 you can send out a message with it. You, you can criticize people constructively or destructively. Um, so I stayed away from the tent, but I do uh, other shows and so. Grant is doing a great, a wonderful job, as a matter of fact. He, you see, what I like about Grant, he's not thinking about himself. He's not looking at the money. He's looking at putting the Calypso where it should be. Something that of my country, Trinidad. So please welcome 87 years young and still going strong, Mr. Roaring Lion, joined by the legendary Calypso Rose, Black Stalin and Fitzroy Coleman. I'm warning men be wise, be foot in the sake, please take my advice. There is a lot to lose, for much depends on the one you choose. If you love happiness, comfort in life, unity and a peace-loving wife. That would only be if you follow my philosophy. That's if you want to be happy and live a king's life. Never make a pretty woman your wife. If you want to be happy and live a king's life, never make a pretty woman your wife. All you've got to do is just as I say, then you would be jolly, merry and gay. Yes, from a logical point of view, always love a woman uglier than you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you about a little barrack room scandal on a Christmas Eve night. I wouldn't go into the story because we haven't got time, but it's called Netty Netty. Give me the thing that you have in your belly. Now, please answer this for me. Netty Netty. Give me the thing that, well let me hear you. Netty, netty, give me the thing that you Christmas night I almost died with laugh, lying on my bed with a high brown craft. Christmas night I almost died with laugh, lying on my bed with a high brown craft. I hold a gin bottle with a wicked roll, tambo bamboo nearly made me lose control, singing netty, netty. Give me the thing that you have And if you can't stand the digging Give me back the shilling If you can't stand the digging Give me back the shilling Everybody sing Netty, Netty Give me the thing that you have in your belly Ladies and gentlemen, I must thank you very much in the first place and continue to say that I'm very elated. I've been moved with the applause and the appreciation shown for the song. I've been moved particularly because I find it so strange that this sort of reception is not generally had in your own land. But as it is said, a prophet has no honor in his own land. In this respect, I thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. For 60 years, the Roaring Lion was a Calypso ambassador. He mesmerized audiences with his impeccable command of the English language. He was regarded as an elder statesman and historian of Calypso music.
In 1981, the Roaring Lion was awarded the Hummingbird Silver Medal. And in 1994, he received the Shakonia Gold Medal for Culture. He died on 11th of July, 1999, at the age of 91. I am Lady V, and this is CITV's tribute to the Roaring Lion, Raphael de Leon. I hope you like the ride. I'll catch you at the next pit stop.